price for me, and now you're going to give it back. Ah, you're crazy. You didn't jump off the Brooklyn Bridge. You didn't jump off of nothing. I'll show you what jumped off of Brooklyn Bridge. This is what jumped off of Brooklyn Bridge. You don't believe in boys, that's a lie. You know I made the jump. You seen me, didn't you? Oh, cool. yeah. yeah, listen. You guys keep out of this. Me and Brody will settle this alone. Anytime, any place. Name it. The sooner the better. Tonight at 12.30 on Grogan's barge at the river. I'll be there. Where would you see? Where would you see? jumps all in. He's true. I got it on him in the speed, the wind, and the noodle. A few socks and it'll be all over. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh, yeah, has been. I'll see you when I get back. Don't do it, Chuck. Please, don't. There wasn't no fake. I seen him do it. Don't. I'm fixing him for good this time. I'll show him the welcher. Come on, come on. Watch my derby, I'll be right back. Sure, Steve. Anyone wants to know who the toughest guy is on the Bowery, you tell him to see Chuck Connors. Three cheers for Chuck Connors! Come on. Hey! Right. 
a uniform very long. I'll bet that next week I'm an admiral. <laughs> Oh, look what somebody sent me. Nice new box of cigars, huh? A toast to Chuck Connor. Yeah. Bigger and better than ever. Just a moment. Now, when the Chuck Connor comes back from Cuba, me and my partner over there, we are going to have a big surprise for him. Hooray! We are going to build him the biggest saloon in the world. A bar. Two hundred feet long, with 40 bartenders, and with gold-plated spittoons. <laughs> Ladies and gents, this is a place. This is what I call point. We're looking for Chuck Connors. Which one of you is him? That's me. Pin it on me. Yeah, well, you're under arrest. For what? Assault and battery with intent to kill. Assault and who? Steve Brody. He was picked up on Grogan's barge last night, half dead. Why, that rat went and squealed to the copper. Come on, you can tell that to the judge. Oh, what are you getting? Come on. That's all right. They can't do nothing with me. I'm in the army now. Yeah, well, you'll be in jail in a couple of hours. Come on. Pipe down, you fresh guys, or I'll pinch all of you. Are you sure you're all right? Of course I'm all right. Say, you don't think that guy really licked me, do you? Well, Steve, I, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Say, I got it on him in the wind, the speed, and the noodle. I was knocking him all over the place. Steve, Steve. And if I hadn't slipped, they'd be burning up today. Oh, Steve, you mustn't get yourself excited. Be quiet. Why, for a plug nickel, I'd go out right now and knock his teeth no, out. Why? Here, here. No. David. You must be quiet, Mr. Steve. Burry. The doctor hasn't completed his diagnosis yet. This may be more serious than you realize. The officers are here now to have you identify the man that hit you. Tell them to bring him in. Oh, Steve! <laughs> this stuff's the bunk. Listen, honey. You better wait outside, and I'll see you in a little while. Oh, but please, Steve, promise me you won't start it all over again. You never can tell what I'll do. Go on, wait outside. Run along. <laughs> all right. We haven't finished our examination yet. He may be suffering from a concussion. It'd be dangerous for you people to go in there and agitate him. Listen to me. I don't know nothing about agitating. We're the law. And he's got to identify this man as his assailant. Why, suppose he should die. And if we didn't have an identification, we couldn't hang you, could we? Oh, no. Well, if you insist, go ahead. But I warn you not to excite him. Come on, let's get it over with. Brody? The state of New York has issued a warrant against this man for assault with intent to kill. Now, before we can proceed with the indictment, it will be necessary for you to identify him as your assailant. Well, what are you waiting for? Come on, we haven't got all day. I've never seen the big bag of baloney before in my life. He 
He don't look strong enough to assault a horsefly. Are you sure this ain't the guy that beat you up? Nobody beat me up. I slipped and fell down. And I don't know nothing about no warrants. Kelsey, what's the matter with you? I thought you said he did it. Come on, get out of here before the both of us go daffy too. Why didn't you tell the truth? You know I beat that can right off of you. Why, you big hooligan, if I hadn't fell down, you'd be in the morgue by now. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Why did you cut it out? You guys gotta be friends. I wouldn't be friends with that guy if he was George Washington. And that goes for me, too. Uh, yeah, yeah. Come on, get out of there, get out of there. Come on. Now, what's the use of fighting? The Bowery's big enough for both of you. Come on, shake hands. Chuck is going to Cuban. You might never see him again. Come on, shake hands. <laughs> All right, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, that was a great scrap, wasn't it, Steve? It sure was. Oh. The best I ever had. Yeah. I was unconscious for three hours. You were. <laughs> I got three teeth knocked out there and three teeth not. Oh, it was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you you got to be late. Don't be waiting for your dinner. Oh, right. that's right. I got to go. I'm going to Cuba, Steve. Gee, I wish you was going along. With a couple of guys like you and me, why? We could cut that war down from three weeks to three days. Gee, I wish I could go with you. Well, so long, Chuck. And good luck. Thanks, Steve. Why don't you come and go along with me? I dare you to. What's that? I dare you to come and go with me. Can you walk? What's that difference? I'm gone, ain't I? What's the matter here? You get right back to bed. Get out of the way. The army's coming through. Get out. Him. I know how you feel, Lucy. I can see it written all over your face. Go on. I'll be back, honey. Don't worry. All in. Thanks, Lucy. Don't ever say I ever gave you nothing. Thank you. 